Yeah, we're like out. We're out, dude. It's on fire. Just get back. Just, we gotta push the trucks back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. You've probably been wondering where in the world are the boys. Guys, we've been fishing, we've been grinding, we've been working on a couple projects, but today our good buddy Jordan invited us out to the Willow with his pup Nico. You guys have seen Nico on the channel before, just like you have with Jordan. We're out here, out on the Willow flowage today. We are out in the middle of gal darn nowhere. This lake is freaking gigantic, and uh, we're gonna catch some walleyes, hopefully. That's what we're hoping for. Just got our last tip up set in. As you can tell, behind us, We've got a beautiful sunset going on. Check that out, gorgeous. And now you turn this way, and way back there you're gonna see a gigantic full moon tonight. It's gonna be awesome. Usually when there's a full moon, we usually have pretty good luck with the walleyes. So we'll see, we'll see if that holds true. We're gonna go ahead, finish getting everything ready, cook up some brats. We'll see you with the first fish. Well, jacked all set up. Everything's good to go, got the brats made, most important thing. Got a tip up, pretty shallow one. This is one of our shallower holes. A whole bunch of different structure in this willow fluid. I tell you what, we don't fish out here a ton, but you can go from like this hole, that's like 11, and you go onto those that we have over there. Those are like, I don't know, what, six, seven feet of water? Yeah. This one's still 10. Got an island right behind it. I don't know, could be a northern. Hopefully a walleye. We'll find out. How's that brought? Go <laughs> That's a Johnsonville, so you know it's good. Well, do we have any movement yet? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, absolutely nothing yet. We'll give her a minute. Let's see what she does. I'm so just then. going down right now, so this is this is prime time. Mm. Just because it's not moving doesn't mean uh, there's not a fish there. Tip up's still not doing anything, but in the process of waiting, Jordan just got a tip up. I'm gonna leave this one, keep an eye on it, I guess, from over here. Go we'll check on his right away. No movement yet for you either, huh? This is crawling pretty good when it first went up. All right, not bad, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Well, tip up still doing nothing. There you go. Come on. Stop biting me. Give her a whirl. Usually the bite window is pretty small on this lake, so we don't want to waste any time here. Got it. Got it. Oh boy. How's it feel? Feels alright. Feels like a walleye. Feels like a walleye. He was just sitting there choking it down. Oh, he actually took out quite a bit of line. There's the bobber. Here it comes, come on. Decent walleye. Nice walleye. Baby. There I go. First walleye of the night. Not a big one, but a nice one. Ran a decent amount, must have ran a bunch before we got here and then just choking her down. What? Yeah, we might as well. Might as well go for the double header, he says. You go check on him. I'm going to get this unhooked and see if we can double up here quick. Nice, beautiful walleye. Oh, Jordan's got a way on him. He tried to take it out. Really good look. Nice dark colors up here. Water's super, super dark up here on the Willow Flowage and it is stock full of walleyes if you're in the right area at the right time. So hopefully this is the first of many. Obviously that flag just went up and I'm gonna get a minnow right back down. This one was on a shiner. Got a mix going on. We got some shiners, got some suckers. Got some different depth ranges and yeah, hopefully we can get some more. We don't come out here all the time, but we are gonna keep some fish. This is normally something we don't do. We are very big believers on catch and release, but there is no problem coming out to these bigger lakes, especially the ones that have the river going right through, like the Willow Flowage does. These fish produce so well, There's it's such a big body of water, so keeping a couple fish for the frying pan is nothing serious, so first one of the night, hopefully we can get a couple more. Night is still young, I think it's only like a little after five, something like that. Got a full moon, so it's gonna be bright all night. Hopefully that uh, helps 
keep these fish active throughout the night after dark. So we got the tip up uh, back in already and we're just gonna hope for the next flag. Just got another flag. Started out with a couple turns and we haven't gotten any movement. It seems like we can never decide what is right. Sometimes you take it early and it's too early. Sometimes you decide to wait a while and take it late and it's just too late. But hopefully we wait just the right amount. We just wanna see if we can get a little bit more movement out of this fish, let it swallow it down all the way to its cheeks, as Jordan would say. <laughs> so while we're waiting, we're gonna see if we get any movement out of that. Just wanted to show you guys the good old mystery tackle box that we brought up with us. Now, Nick traveled all the way from the middle of Wisconsin, basically in central area, way up north by me where I live. And uh, unfortunately we did not have enough time to go jigging today, but just wanted to run through the box with you guys and show you some of this awesome stuff. Inside of the box, we've got all kinds of jigs, some from Canny Stopper Lures. We've got some more jigs here from Arnold's Tackle Co. We've got a jigging spoon. That's actually looking pretty fire. 16th ounce, oh yeah, that would wreck them right there. What else we got? Let's see here, holy cow, that is a big one. That's a pretty aggressive bait, good colors to it right there. What else, we got some stuff from Frostbite. More jigs, tungsten jigs. Can never go wrong with too many tungsten jigs. There's just all kinds of good stuff in here. More tungsten jigs, these are orange, these are from Kenders. All kinds of great stuff inside. More plastics from Frostbite. Again guys, just gotta check them out. Mystery tackle box. If you guys want to get on top of some fish, whether you're jigging or whatever, uh, honestly guys, good stuff inside. Make sure to check them out. Spring is right around the corner. So, I mean, you might be able to get another month or two out of the old uh, ice fishing box if you got her. I mean, definitely would suggest checking it out. If you don't get time this year, depending on where you live in the Midwest or whatever, next year there's always next year but definitely check out the walleye box because honestly spring walleye fishing is right around the corner we've got maybe a month left and we're hoping to get down to the green bay area start messing up some fish what are you talking about over there nico huh have a little movement here. <laughs> did you yeah i oh, walked away and came back and now it's all the way okay hey, hey nico knock it off you don't even know what you're barking at dude <laughs> all right well jordan's gonna go ahead and take it Said he'd given enough time. Ooh, with the strategic play on this one. Yeah. I bet you it's a big perch. Do you think so? Oh, oh it's a little walleye. Look at that. Ooh, I, thought walleye. Was a I thought it almost was a perch. I thought it was a <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a nice perch. Oh my hey, goodness. If we hold it close enough, I look like hey, tank. tanker. Tank. <laughs> tank. <laughs> Definitely suck her to her cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why it couldn't take it down any further. You're not going to get any action. No rotation right. when it's to its cheek. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, there hey, it second fish of the day. <laughs> Hopefully they start getting bigger than that. The first one wasn't bad. If they go downhill from here, I'm going to be nervous. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, you love to see that blinking light. I love to see the 10-pound crawl. Look at that. Ooh. I'm so digging fishy. that. I'm, I'm digging that. This is what, like five minutes after yeah. you just had a tip up here? Not yeah. even. This one just went up, just caught that little fish. Sucker again. Another little guy. This one feels a little bigger. Might be a legal one. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, we're all here just hamming the monsters. <laughs> the Willow Flowage. If you guys want monsters, you come to the Willow. <laughs> Jordan. That is not what you're used it's to. It's a beauty. Oh man, look at that thing. We'll see you. <laughs> oh, maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Yeah, we're like out. We're out, dude. It's on fire. Just get back. Just we gotta push the trucks back, guys. Sled's on fire. Somebody's probably gotta call the fire department. Sled's down. All right, guys. So you haven't seen us in a minute here since uh, we've Holy gotten cow. the last plague. Yeah, get the truck back. Get the truck back. Just we uh, we came to shore here. We just brought hey, some of our stuff hell? back. Jordan sled was on the landing, tried to get her started, and the thing just took fire. So we are just chilling on the landing. Just used up all the fire extinguisher that the local bar had. It's not good not good at all we just went through an entire fire extinguisher on a sled that caught fire um, Jordan's gonna bring the truck back a little bit here we're just trying to stay safe in case she goes boom holy cow 
Well, that added some excitement to the end of the night. Dude, oh, I'm like speechless right now. I don't even know what to say. All of a sudden, we were behind Jordan a little ways. We had to run back and grab more stuff. We got to the landing. There's a bar located right up here. And um, all of a sudden, Jordan just started sprinting. And he said, dude, the sled's on fire. And um, yeah. I didn't believe my eyes. I turned and sure enough, the entire sled's on fire. That was unbelievable. I don't even know what to say. Fire department's gotta get out here. We've got everything pretty well under control. There's Just to the, explain uh, what what's going is. on here, this is a burned down snowmobile, in case you're wondering what the pile of flames was. Um, so we had some issues with this snowmobile earlier today while we were fishing. So we ended up bringing it back and we couldn't get it started. So now that we're done, we were going to get it onto the trailer and take it home and figure out what the fix needed to be. But, um, well, there's no more fix, you see. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cheers. Saturdays are for the boys. Mmm. Unbelievable. Delicious. Let's put this thing out, put her to rest. Rest in peace, Jig. Nice to go. Fishing the snowmobile burned down. <laughs> hey, good times. Hey, everybody, leave a like for Jordan's snowmobile. Yeah, please. Rest in peace. Please we'll see you in the leave comments. a like. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe page. I'll give you guys the details and how to send me some money yeah. in the future. Yeah, it'll be in the uh, description. If you can help me up with a new ice fishing slab, that'd be great. You're gonna you need can see, it. Mine burned down. Might as well explain what the heck is going on right now. So basically. This garbage bag that I'm holding on to right now is uh, filled with what's remaining of a snowmobile. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's been a little bit since you guys have seen us. Um, last, last that you guys saw, the there was a snowmobile fire. completely engulfed in flames. So yeah, there's that. Basically to recap what happened, Nick and I were behind, well, Nick took Jordan to the landing and we were having issues earlier in the day with Jordan's snowmobile. So Nick came back out to come get me and as we got to the landing up by the bar area, all of a sudden Jordan flies. He's just running up by the bar. He screams, the sled's on fire. We turn and look, there's huge flames in the woods. Couldn't freaking believe it come down. The thing's on fire. Basically what happened was he tried to start it and uh, all of a sudden it just went up into flames just like that. The thing was flooded so occasionally that happens with these old sleds. Luckily everyone is okay. Nobody got injured and now we're just cleanup crew. That's really what's going on now. Alrighty well guys that's what's left of the sled take a look it's um it's not much pretty uh pretty <laughs> crazy to be honest i mean like i said it's what it's was the just, joke of the night joke of the night was uh fires right up on one pole <laughs> oh man literally that's all it took was one pole and it did fire right up literally it was engulfed in flames within seconds so Luckily, like I said, nobody got hurt. The dog's okay. Nick's truck's okay. Jordan's uh, okay. Jordan's all right. The sled's not all right, but sheesh. We're gonna go ahead and uh, make sure there's no more metal or anything like that. Hopefully nobody gets a flat tire. We wouldn't want that to happen to anybody. So we're gonna finish cleaning up. We got the sled on the back of the trailer and well, what's left of it at least. Jordan, how you feeling, bud? You got anything else for us? I need beer. <laughs> He needs a beer. I don't blame him. Honestly, tonight was crazy. Like, I can't even put today into words. But uh, the fishing was all right. I mean, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you didn't just click on the video because, oh, there's a slut that caught fire. Even though that is pretty cool, I guess, from an outsider's perspective. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to uh, leave a like. Comment down below what you guys thought was better, the fishing or the burning snowmobile. <laughs> Not that that's ever what you want to happen, but things like that occur. It's just something crazy that happens in life. So anyways, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, guys. We would really appreciate that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, 
make sure to subscribe. We've got some awesome fishing content coming soon. Spring's right around the corner. We're probably gonna get out and do a lot more ice fishing now that we've got a little bit colder temperatures and we don't have eight to 12 inches of slush to walk through. We've got, we still have our snowmobile. Our snowmobile still works, just so everybody knows. I, want, <laughs> I just wanna clarify that. It was Jordan's sled that burned down. So if he wants to come fishing, he's more than welcome to come with us. Um, unfortunately, we're going to have to start searching on Craigslist for a different sled that fires up with one pull. <laughs> Not something that engulfs into flames. So, anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, until next time, tight lines for men be edits.